Hey everybody again, it's Fridays with Father Scott, so welcome. Um, this gospel this week is for our upcoming Sunday, November the 8th. So I'm going to just, it's a parable, one of those wonderful <clears throat> stories that I think it's key that we always remember that when we hear the telling of a parable, that you and I are part of the story. We can either look through the window to see the kingdom unfolding, or we're going to participate by being, have the reflection of the parable uh, reflected to us. But regardless, oftentimes we forget that we're part of the story as listeners. So Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flask of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry, Behold the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up, trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Hmm. You know, last month, uh, almost a month ago, I had my uh, nephew's wedding. And it was one of those little play on things for the, uh, my, my nephew and his uh, new wife. 10, 10, 20 was the, the celebration day. And uh, so whenever you hear a parable about a wedding, you know, the bridegroom and all that, it, it kind of conjures up some memories now. And perhaps we don't lock the door the way uh, uh, they did in the Jesus day. But, hey, maybe if you watch wedding crashers and things like that, you'll start locking the door uh, and, 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 and be ready. But the, the point of the parable, I think, is to be prepared. Um, I think for... Uh, Old timers and the like, I remember being taught in school to always be in a state of grace. Uh, I think that was part of our emphasis on the frequent uh, reception of the sacrament of reconciliation. Uh, you know, in the old days, our, our Saturdays for us priests, were we were just busy for hours and hours hearing confessions. And part of it ties into uh, always be in a state of grace. Uh, because you don't know the hour when the bridegroom is coming. And that's really when Jesus comes to take us to our eternal reward. So it's a, it's a powerful image that is set before you and I, or you and me today. So as we hear it, what does it say to me? And in the story, in the unfolding, am I one of the wise ones? Am I one of the foolish ones? Am I ready? And uh, that's a challenge, I think in our busyness today to always be prepared. And you know, and when the bridegroom comes, what's he going to ask of us? So it's a beautiful gospel story, the wise and the foolish, and where do we find ourselves? Where do we see ourselves? So November the 8th, uh, Sunday, beautiful gospel story. So listen with fresh ears and the challenge that's inherent for you and I, and always remember now, we're part of the story. So where do we find ourselves in its telling? You know, along those lines, then, please don't forget that this uh, upcoming Saturday, November the 8th, or this coming Sunday, November the 8th, we're going to do uh, a drive through drop-off for Catholic Charities. And what we're looking for are warm clothing kind of items, like hoodies and jackets and sweatshirts, things for uh, those down and out. So... Uh, Please help us if you can, and folks will be at the side doors of our uh, gymnasium to collect those from you. So a uh, drive through drop-off for the most in need in our community to help keep them warm during the winter months. So um, wise, foolish, as you hear the parable today, looking either through the 
the, the window are the pair of having the reflection back from the, the mirror, uh, where do we see ourselves? So what does Jesus have to say to us today? So again, blessings. Uh, let us be mindful of who we are and what we're about. Uh, uh, take care, be safe, look out for our neighbor. And until we meet again, God's blessing. Take care.